Hello everyone and welcome to a Get Ready With Me Edinburgh Autumn Vlog. So basically I'm going to get ready um, to go out for my day and then I'm going to take you with me. Now this video is sponsored by Ana Luisa. They are a New York based jewellery company. I'm wearing their earrings now. I, as you probably know, am a very big jewellery fan. <laughs> I love that you can use jewellery as like an heirloom piece. When you buy jewellery, you intend for it to last a very long time, but a lot of the jewellery that is in our price range isn't sustainable, doesn't last a very long time. And that's where Ana Luisa comes in, because they're actually quite a sustainable company. They only do small batch jewellery, um, which means that everything's made with a lot more care than sort of mass-produced stuff. It's basically like luxury jewellery without the luxury jewellery markups. They only use the best metals, they are tarnish free pieces which is something I'll often find if I do get something that is lesser quality or sort of mass produced, it tarnishes really really quickly and obviously that's not long lasting. And they are a sustainable brand in that yes they do small batches but they also have the environment in their minds as a company so their goal by the end of 2020 is to be carbon neutral as a business which is something i think all businesses should be striving to do nowadays but unfortunately aren't now i have picked two pieces both of them are earrings because i find i wear earrings more than anything else i'll link both of them in the description one of them is a starburst earring um, and it sort of dangles down you can see now i just picked that because i love that style of earring and i know i will wear it almost every single day now the other ones are huggies i am gonna be Again, completely honest with you, I saw Zoella wear these type of earrings way back in like, I don't know, 2016, years ago. And I always kept them in my mind and I couldn't quite find another pair that suited what I wanted, what they looked like, what was in my price point and what wasn't like, ooh, I probably shouldn't buy from there. So when I saw these on Anna Luisa's website, I was like, finally, these are the perfect pair of Huggies and I know I'm going to wear them all the time. Just compliments. I mean, I feel like these will work with literally every other earring that I own. So I'm really excited to wear these all the time. I think these two look actually really, really good together. And I like that they both have a sparkle. So if you want to check out Ana Luisa, if you want to buy one of these pieces, or you just want to see what's in stock and what sort of products they offer that aren't earrings or that aren't earrings, I'll have links to their website and to these two products um, in the description of this video, right at the very top, so you won't have to go searching for it. Plus, as I am doing an ad for them, of course I have a promotion code for you. Um, you can get 10% off with promotion code ARCTIC10, um, and that will also be in the description. So if at the end of this video you want to head off and check that out, I wholeheartedly recommend that you do. Um, I know that that's somewhere I'll be checking in the future for when I want to look for something that I really, really want, like huggy hoops. I'm just so pleased with them. Coffee. It's really weak. Still trying to work out my coffee machine. Oh, a bit too weak. It's basically like drinking milk. Okay, so I'm gonna start with my skincare. Um, so I use this Drops of Youth. I use this pretty much every day. Every day that I know I'm gonna go outside because it's for anti-pollution. So this is the Drops of Youth Environmental Protection Solution. So when I say it's for anti-pollution, I mean um, basically protects your face against the effects that pollution could have. So after that's on, I use my vitamin C, also from the body shop, because I work with them on Instagram. I like that cream. It smells fresh and zesty. You might hear Betty in the background because I brought her in here, um, because she's kind of Complainy. So I haven't quite decided what I'm gonna do today with like my outfit with what I'm actually gonna do. I know I'm gonna go into Old Town, but there's so much good stuff to do there. I don't know where I'm gonna start. I think the Saturday market is on and they might have veggie haggis, which I've been craving weirdly. This is sort of dry now, um, so I'm gonna put my sun cream on. <gasps> Also from the body shop, also because I work with them on Instagram, I have this. They've given it to me. I use sun cream all over my face, but I start sort of on top of my nose because that's where the sun hits me most, is right in this area. I'm gonna go rinse my hands now. I hate having skincare fingers. Okay, now that that is done, 
I've got my makeup ready. I'm gonna put my hair up. I did my hair yesterday, I curled it, right? Look at how much it's fallen out. This is my problem with having long hair. This is like the makeup I do literally every day. I thought I'd be standard for a get ready with me. It's a bit more autumnal. I don't have like standard um, eyeshadow that I use every day. Betty, you're gonna get in real big trouble. So I like to use eyeshadow <laughs> as like my, this seasonal thing. So in summer I might use pink eyeshadow or purple eyeshadow in spring. Um, and in winter I generally use browns and in autumn I use oranges. And that's that. I'm sitting in my spare room today because there's a mirror right across from me and um, I can't see what I'm doing otherwise. If you watch my August favorites, you'll remember I use the Maybelline Fit Me Matte Poreless Foundation. And I kind of wish it had a pump because it's kind of hard to get out sometimes. Should we try some TikTok transition? Ready? Did it work? Um, this is Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer. I buy it because it's really cheap and it's high coverage and I have under eye circles. So I actually have the new bottle. It's got a new bottle and I have the new bottle. Are you being a butt? Arr! So this is kind of how I put my concealer on. Um, it looks crazy, but I just dab it in with my finger and I pat it. I read this in like Cosmo once that you should always pat your concealer under your eye because your under eye is really sensitive. That is my concealer like sort of half done. I will continue to do my concealer at the rest of the time I do my makeup because it kind of, I don't know, appears I feel like sort of spots where I'm like mm, I need a bit more there. So I'm gonna spray with a prep prime because I'm gonna put um, contour on my face. So I was not in the right direction. Can you hear Betty meowing in the background? I put her in the other room because she was being wild. I always leave blush for the last thing. <laughs> it looks so crazy right now. So like I said, it's autumn, so I'm going to use orange. This is my only palette. <laughs> I've had it for years. Let's get ready with me. It's more just like secrets of how badly I do my makeup because I still use eyeshadow to do my eyebrows. I feel like I just really like the shade and how it matches with my eyebrows and I very rarely find that in a product. Plus it lasts so much longer than any eyebrow pencil. I'm a winged eyeliner kind of gal myself. This is a new thing I bought. It's the L'Oreal Paris Perfect Slim uh, Liquid Eyeliner. You know what they say about brows and liner. They're sisters, not twins. I'm gonna curl my lashes and put on the Lash Sensational from Maybelline. If you've seen me do my makeup ever in the past two years, I use this product. It is from The Body Shop. Um, I bought it before I ever worked with them. Um, it's a red pomegranate lip and cheek stain, and it's easily my favorite product of all time. It's basically my go-to blush. Because it's a liquid, it stays on forever. Oh, I've got to put some on my nose now. This is the only thing that's changed in my many years of using this. Thanks to the good old e-girl, we put blush on our nose. I kind of like it. I like that it gives you that, like, almost like you've got a sunburn, <laughs> which isn't cute. Not if it's real, but if it's fake. Super cute. Time to highlight. This is one of my, like, prized possessions. Now, normally I use the Mary Jo K lip liner with the Maybelline Superstay and Pioneer. I always have a red lip on. I feel like they need my hair needs to be up so that you can see my earrings. I think I'll put it in a bun actually. So this is the perfume I use this body by Burberry and I just spray that right in my face. My aim is all off today. I only really use this scent because I like to have a signature scent. <laughs> Because people care that, like, when you smell it, you're like, that's, that's what Sabrina wears. And you think of me. I'm just manipulating people into thinking of me. If there's one thing I can do, it's a top knot bun. But, oh, that actually doesn't look good. That's my karma. I need my glasses. Okay. I'm going to finish my outfit, and then I'll see you outside. to say we're in grass market we got haggis got in for a hot chocolate or a, a hot i was gonna say a hot coffee now 
a latte is what I mean. So we're gonna go up Victoria Street and yeah, there's a lot of tourists, it's a bit weird. But it's a Saturday, so what can you expect? Here. Come on, Yogi. I don't know where to go. This is my favorite section, anyways. It's a bit weird. Buy like one a week. This one's nice. Cardigan. Doesn't that remind you of a wedding day? Not that one. Let's see if there is one. Oh, wait, that's when your dad wears. No, that's close. Close. You should get one like this. Yeah. This one. I kind of want that. You pull it cool. off. You pull it off. Victoria Street is closed. Traffic. Come on. I want to go to the Probably can't hear me. I want coffee. The Bevantine. This has changed. This used to be aha ha. It was red, just like the joke shop Zonko's in Harry Potter. It's a Harry Potter tour guide bag. And it now belongs to Harris Tweed. Isn't that sad? But they've left the nose on it. That's weird. I kind of like it. Well, you gotta get that shot. Can't say money shot without thinking about what you told me about money shot. Salt's in it, but... Can I see what's in here? Yeah. Here what, is, what did I get? Can you help me? Yeah. Oh, that's not what I wanted. I asked for a framboise chocolat. That's not what it is. That's a flan vanilla. Oh, no, I, I, I had a mask on, but I did say framboise chocolat. And then. Look at a little smile. <laughs> Time. These are 